So with Wentz out, Josh McCown, 40 years old, making his playoff debut as a player, overcome with emotion, being consoled by his teammate Zach Ertz. I mean, Dion, none of us as, as football fans can understand what a guy like this is going through. What is that like? That, that's like, guys, I, I just wish I would have been a little more prepared. I wish I would have known this opportunity team was coming. I, I, I would have given it a little more. Hey, that's just the competitor in this kid. Let me tell you something, man. I don't care how old he is. He played his butt mm -hmm. off. He did the best he darn could without first or without reps with the first team, without timing with the first team, without running plays with the first team. He played his butt off. Man, I'm proud of him. And I got love for Ertz, man, for just being there for him. That, that, that's what this game is about, those type of relationships that you would never forget right there. And you know what? Let's give a big pat on the back to Doug Peterson and the entire Eagles organization. A lot of teams would have crumbled. A lot of teams yep. would not have finished 9-7, and seven, would not have won the NFC East. I know we made our jokes about the division all season long, but look at the talent they lost, especially on the offensive side of the football. Yeah. You know, no Lane Johnson, their Pro Bowl right tackle. Uh, you know, all Sean Jeffrey. They've been without Deshaun Jackson for months. Zach Ertz went out there with a broken rib and played. And I get it. Injuries are a part of the game. But usually you don't have this many stacked upon you know, one another, Dion. Right. And they did a wonderful job. Hats off to the entire organization. Yeah. They, they really played well, and they almost pulled that out today. They yeah. really did. And and kudos to the Seattle Seahawks as well because they were missing a couple of uh, offensive linemen as well. We'll see if they are going to be healthy in time for their game next Sunday at Lambeau Field against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. That'll wrap up Divisional Play Weekend.